Yo, what's going on, people? Back again for another footy talk, boy. Across the busy Christmas schedule, Lee Chappie's in the building, boy. Second against third, bruv. Coming up on the weekend. How you feeling, bruv? Mate, how are you? Uh, thanks for having me on. Finally, as well. I'm glad we're actually doing this thing. Um, and I'm working my socks off to get to you, mate, as well. That's a thing, man. This December's been a killer for me. I'm a postman by day, so and a Jamie Vardy by night. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, bro. Like you must get that madness all the time. And the thing is, because it's one of your club's players as well, bro. It's all yeah, mad yeah. right now. Mm. It's mental, mate. Honestly, I'm I'm soaked through. I'm pissed through, and here I am. I'm with a cup of tea, getting warm, and I'm I'm doing what I love best, which is YouTube streaming. I'm hoping I can do this full time one day. Oh, bro, soon, soon enough, man. You just got to keep putting it out there, bro. To be fair, and you know what, your club are doing well, so it's only a matter of time. If you man can stay there, then boy, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna be laughing, brother. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, Arsenal are wishing they were a blue side right now in the Midlands, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bruv. Hey, listen, the pain that these men are feeling, yeah? Oh, bruv. Like, yesterday, the goalkeeper with the washing up, you know what I mean? The fairy liquid gloves and that, bruv. <laughs> Oi, listen, yeah? Like, that is the gift that keeps on giving, bruv, that football club. Oh, I'm telling you. It's, it's amazing, you. bruv. How's it been for you lot going from, obviously... Obviously, it's been emotional for you lot because obviously you're Mate. a Premier League team, and then obviously oh. you went down, and then Ten, oh man, I remember yeah. you lot coming through the leagues with like Sven and that, and yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? And then back in the Prem to winning the Prem to yep. challenging for like the top six every year, it must have been an emotional it's, roller coaster for uh, you. Lot. There's a cracking uh, thread that I've uh, retweeted. You want to have a look at it? Uh, go and check me out on uh, Twitter at Lee underscore Chappie. There's a there's a thread that rolls back for 11 years of this club, and it's unreal. You'll piss yourself of some of the things that have gone on from like the the Thailand scandal, the sex scandal of the three players, oh, including yeah, Nigel Nigel Pearson's bloody son as well, getting involved. And you know, just so much has gone on this club, and people just seem to don't. Don't remember some of the things that have gone on. It's mad, um, but yeah, honestly, it's a roller coaster of a club, and uh, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Rants, I'd have it no yeah. other way. Honestly, no, I think I that's probably why winning the Premier League. I think that's why <laughs> winning, winning the Premier League in 2016. I think is the reason why it really hit as hard, like emotionally, because I, I still have to pinch myself that 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 shit happened. You know, I can't believe that happened in 2016. That's mad. And how are you feeling about this season so far, bro? Like, I, I had to double check the, the table. I was like, hold on, second and third. You're not, the, you're the, not the, the, yeah, I know. You're not the only person to say that as well. You know, like, uh, Expressions said it before the game, by the way, Big Up Expressions. Uh, he gave me a big shout out. And I, and I jumped on his stream and he kicked me off his stream. He kicked me out. <laughs> Go and check that video out. I'll put it on my YouTube. I, I clipped it. Uh, <laughs> Kick me out. Lost his mind. Lost his mind. If you've ever seen expression silent, you've never seen it. Check the video out and you'll see it. <laughs> completely gassed, mate. Completely gassed. Uh, but going back onto topic. Yeah. Uh, what a season. It's a wonky season. Um, Leicester, uh, a team with the 12th man. And we, uh, we ain't got no 12th men. We've been in a, a lockdown restriction since bloody March. We've not been mm. out of any restrictions. We've not had a day off, Rance. Mm. We've not had a day off. It's so, true. And, how, and no... that's the funny thing, even without the fans, even without all these things, you lot still seem to be doing, yeah, still seem to be doing your thing in it. And that's testament to how your clubs run as well. Like, obviously, we have to big up the manager, but bro, it don't matter who's yeah. in charge, you lot are still kind of consistently performing in that region, and that has to go down to the owners and how they invest in the money. That's right, mate. It's the owners. And I'm sure you've seen it yesterday. Leicester finally announced and revealed to the world their world flipping state of the art training facilities. If you haven't, go check it out. Leicester put it out there yesterday. A uh, hundred million pounds. Thanks, Harry Maguire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sold him and built a world state of the art training facility for our future uh, future youngsters in this in this flipping club. <laughs> Flip sake, man. <laughs> yeah. But look, Harry Maguire was a good player at Leicester. I'm not saying he's turned into, into something that he isn't because he was a good player at Leicester. But I think once he started playing well in the World Cup and, and whatnot for England, I think it just rocketed him into this uh, unreachable goal of being this world-class player because he's not. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. He's good. But he needs someone like Ndidi in front of him. Yeah. 
Because if you put someone like Ndidi, who's, by the way, an absolute baller at the moment, yeah, um, yeah. He, he killed Tottenham Hotspur. He killed him. Killed him. Yeah. And Ndidi was the reason why we got a second goal as well. He nicked the ball, turned it into a counter-attack, and boom. But if you end Ndidi in your side, every centre-back that ever plays for your side will get an extra two... Yeah, extra two, look two brilliant. Yeah, extra two ratings, mate, on the star system. <laughs> nah, it's mad, bro. I'm telling you, like, Ndidi's literally... If I could sign one player for my club, it would be him. Only one. Just because I know how much we need a defensive midfield and I know how good he is, in it? And the whole thing, even you lot are laughing at us, man. You lot sold Chilwell nah. and Maguire, yeah, for like 130, 140 million. Your owners are absolutely like... Hey, they're, they're yeah, ballers. Ballers. ballers, mate. Absolute ballers. I don't think we're laughing at you lot. I think we're laughing at the England system. Because mm -hmm. if as soon as it's an English player, there's a premium. And, and so far, Leicester have cashed in. Cashed in! <laughs> That's it. And the thing is, I reckon... Oh, he might have signed a new deal anyway. He's likely to stay anyway, but he yeah. would cost an arm and a leg anyway. To, to yeah, yeah. Him. Yeah, um, we're talking 100 million. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's madness, isn't it? I can't believe yeah. this, man. I can't <laughs> even lie. So, nah, you lot are doing your thing. You lot are doing yeah. your thing, man. How are you feeling about the weekend? Obviously, you're at home. Yeah. Let's go yeah. away. Um, Leicester away oh. for us is not an old, is not an easy game, man. Um, we got we had yeah. you away from home last game in last season, but you yes. had loads of injuries and stuff. Um, how's it looking for you lot this time around? Uh, well, I'll flick over to Miss Green, you might be able to see some of the players' lineups. I've, I've even had time to do this for you, Rance. Have a look at this. There Come you go. On. There's see, a predictor. See, bro, I listen. If I could do all that fancy shit, do you know what I mean? I've caught <laughs> it. I just turn on my flipping, I just hit, hit go live. <laughs> I'm, try look, I I'm trying to do something that like Goldbridge and I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name on this channel or not. I don't know. Well, you can but say his name. That doesn't, uh, mean, it doesn't mean anything. I know who he is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do things here. All right. Uh, so that's that's my predicted lineup. Anyway, it's almost the same side that faced Spurs. Um, Jamie Vardy did get an injury at the end of the uh, Spurs game, but. Yeah. He should be back in the side. Uh, we've only really got Soyuncu and Ricardo Pereira out of the team still. Um, yeah. But overall, we're going to probably play with four at the back uh, and Didi holding role. Uh, you've got Castagno, who returned from injury, uh, the Belgium international on the right. Wesley Fofana, a steal, 19-year-old. Yeah, he's looking very good. Back. He's looking very yeah. good. Another player that will probably end up making a fortune on. Uh, probably to you, boys. Um, Mark... <laughs> Oh, right, bro, I, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> Michael Bryan, Avi Barnes. I can imagine Madders and Tillemans will start in the middle as well because they've both been ballers and uh, and Vardy up top. That's how I see it. That's a decent team. That's a and very the son, good team. Uh, and the son of legendary Peter Schmeichel in goal as well. Of course. And then now, even when you look at your bench, players like Ayosi Perez, yeah, like, yeah, good, yeah, good player. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Leicester are doing all right. Yeah, I, I we've got the, even, yeah. Yeah, oh, we've, got the, we've, got, we've got the Undertaker as well. We've just signed him from AS Roma as well. Ken <laughs> Highly rated. <laughs> yeah, he looked good as well. You lot are doing all right. This is annoying. I'm not even yeah. going to lie. I'm looking at your team now. You lot sold us Harry Maguire for 85 million and then everyone's talking about this new young centre-back. It's just like, yeah. why Why couldn't United just sign the young centre-back? <laughs> you know I mean, instead of signing Maguire for 85 million. Like, I, I'm, I'm so sick of it, man. I'm so sick of it. But the way we're playing right now... I think this is going to be a this is going to be a good game. I hope it's not going to be a yeah. KG stink fest here, yeah, which which kind of I'm feeling like it might be. Yeah, but the uh, thing is, the thing is, right? What people have forgot, and you've you've done what Leicester have done right now. You kind of gone under the radar because mm. you boys have started with that game in hand because of the Champions League situation. You didn't play the first week, so you've you've had this game in hand on your ass the whole way long, and mm. here you are, you're climbing the table, boys. You don't yeah. know. Leicester have got a poor record against you guys. You, we've, we've beat you once away and we beat you once at home. 5-3 on my birthday. It was a great game. Yeah. Um, and that was that, that's that famous uh, photo of Giggs with his fucking hands like this. And uh, who was your manager at the time? Louis van Gaal? Yeah, it would have been van Gaal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're the only two wins we've got against you boys. And the thing is, we've got a bad record on Boxing Day as well in the Premier League. Yeah. I think we've lost five in the last six Boxing Day fixtures, lad. So... That's that's a bit mad, bro. I I don't know, you know. I don't really know how this one's gonna go in it. Like on 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 form, I think you're a point above us, but we got the game in hand and that, so our form yeah. slightly better. 
Our away form is very good as well in the league. It's our home form that's a yeah. bit shit. Do you know, our I mean? home form shit too. Our home exactly. form is shocking. Your shocking. home form shit and your away form is shocking, shocking isn't it? Yeah, shocking, mate. We, we got hammered by the Hammers, 3-0. West Ham battered us, beat us in mm. every, every part of that of the pitch. Uh, Aston Villa nicked it at the death. Uh, who else beat us at home? Oh, God. God, I've lost I've lost to... Fulham. Fulham, bottom side, Fulham beat us 2-1 at home as well. Mm. Everton, Everton came in and beat us at home. I think these, these teams all sat back deep, defended hard. And then just yeah. batter, battered us on the counter. And I think if that's how my Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sets up, um, I think you could come away with a win again. Because yeah. Leicester, I don't know why, but Leicester seem to, I don't know what it is. We don't seem to hold the smoke very well at home. Yeah, I think how we set up is just pretty much that. Like, if you don't want to have the ball, you can have it. Quick counters, in it. Like, that's what yeah. we're going to do, in it. If that plays, if you play quite open, expansive, then I think our pace and our directness could do you lot in it, but um, I don't know. It it just really depends on how you lot set up. You know what I mean? One thing about your manager is he's 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 not naive in it. Like he can change things up if he if he needs to. So I think depending on how you lot um, attack the game will depend on how the game goes. Because I think with us, I think we only know one way to play football. You know what I mean? And that's it. Like, try and quick hit people on the break, score goals. And so far, it's looking all right. I, I doubt we'll go back to a five at the back here. I hope not for this game because it's away from home. If we stick with a four at the back, I think we're going to play the same. Same, um, yeah. Tellez, yeah. Maguire, Lindlof and wan That's the That's, same that's it. And just energy in the midfield, probably Fred McTominay, Bruno. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then Rashford, Martial and someone else, whether it's Greenwood or whether it's Dan James or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I think it's going to be the same, 4 2 three, one. I spoke to a few uh, United fans over the over the years and um, there's a bit of a, a Marmite on Martial. Do you, yeah. do, you, do you rate him as a number nine or is he not? Is he a kind of a false nine or what? Oh, he's a number nine. He's a modern day number nine. Um, but the thing is with a lot of people, yeah, because we're in um, such a stat stat obsessed um era yeah yeah pe people like to overlook all the good work that he does do do you know what i'm saying which is very annoying for me he's not an old-fashioned jamie vardy give me the ball over the top number nine in it like them players are slowly dying in the modern game yeah yeah you know would mean? you take like, would you swap marshall for vardy what what in current form or, or yeah, disregarding yeah. their age and everything i think vardy's the Every one of the best yeah. strikers in the prem but at vardy's age i wouldn't take him now do you know what no. I mean? But yeah, yeah, but I think he's one of the best strikers in the league, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? I think only only Harry Kane and Sergio Aguero, you could argue, and even Sergio Aguero is a bit older now, and he's he's got a lot worse injury record yeah. than Jamie Vardy. But Jamie Vardy's is top three strikers in the Prem, easy. Do you know what I mean? So I'm glad you said that. I'm, I'm glad yeah. you said that. Yeah, yeah, he's top three strikers in the Prem, easy, easy. Do you know what I mean? But the link that Martial gives us. Like, even when people are getting obsessed with goals and assists, Martial got um, the highest player rating in, in the last game against Leeds and he didn't even score. Mm. Know I mean, the guy got two assists and won the penalty. Like, his his influence on our build-up play and everything goes unnoticed if he doesn't score. And that's the problem with um, the modern game. Everyone's just looking at, oh, how many goals, how many assists did you get? And they're writing off players' performances based on that. But how could he be the most effective player on the pitch without scoring a goal? And that tells you everything you need to know about him. So I think you'll get his confidence back. You'll start scoring goals. He was the, the second highest scorer in the league from open play last season with no penalty, 17 goals. Like, he's a good player. He's just going through a bit of a confidence crisis at the moment. But, you know what I mean? That's not going to last forever. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I am concerned about Leicester's uh, home performance uh, at the minute. Um, I think that's something to do with having no fans about. And uh, obviously going away games as fans, regardless if they're supporting that home side or not, Leicester seem to thrive when there's fans in the ground, especially Vardy. He loves to gloat when he's scoring. <laughs> no, so, hey, Vardy's celebration, he's a proper shit house, But that's what, yeah, that's what we love yeah. about him, though. Yeah, that's what we all love it. We all love that. We all. Mm. We well, might hate him, but love that. You know, you got to love the game, ain't you? Yeah. Exactly. No, like, listen, bro. Like when he done the Eagles thing, yeah, <laughs> bro. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen <laughs> in, my, in my whole life. Yeah, but he's a Wednesday lad, isn't he? And obviously, against like uh, teams like sort of, I suppose that have got kind of a similar sort of rivalry as Wednesday back in the day. I suppose he he, he yeah. wants to banter the shit out sort of of the Blades and Palace and stuff like that. So 
I don't know. He's just one of these guys. He, he loves to gloat when he gets a goal. He loves it. Yeah. No, nah, it's pro proper funny, bro. I'm telling you. Um, what was it? Um, it was, I swear it was Crystal Palace where he done the, um, it was Palace. He done, done was, the thing, yeah. bro. Nah, he, yeah, nah, 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 nah. He's an absolute demon for that. Oh, what about you know when he scored, he scored against the Blades and literally ran over to the... To and them. smashed the corner flag. And, and just stood there like that. And, and smashed the corner flag as well. Yeah, bruv, he's, he's proper, isn't it? Like, listen, <laughs> I've got so much I've got so much time for Vardy and his shithousery. Like, I have so much time for it, bro. Like, yeah, I'm not going to lie, so... It's I like, think he's a top player. Mind games, mate, isn't it? It's all about The Undertaker, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here for it, brother. I'm, I'm here for it. So, like... <laughs> How are you generally feeling for this game, though, bro? Like, really? Like, I mean, knowing your home form, knowing our away form, yeah, you know I mean, are you confident? No, and I'm not confident. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not worried that you're going to batter us, but I'm not confident with our home performances. Something's got to change soon, and I'm hoping it's going to be Boxing Day. I'm just hoping Vardy don't have too many shots and stuff on Christmas Day. <laughs> hey, listen, you can't, you can't rely on Vardy. Do you know what I mean? Not for that anyway. Do you know what I mean? But even if he's <laughs> off his tits, he'll probably still turn up and score. I think he's got the most goals against the top six teams or something ridiculous. Yeah, he, he, loves, he loves scoring against the big six. I think he has got the, the most goals against the big six in this current era as well. So you're right. But um, I think retiring for his England duties has helped him prolong what he's got left of his career. I don't know how yeah. long he's going to go for either. The thing is, I've been saying two years for the last four years. Oh, he's got two years left. He's got two years left. Every fucking year, he's got. It's two weird, years. isn't it, with Vardy? Because you look at him as a player and you think, "Yo, um, he's one of them. Um, he's one of them players that he's not exactly like the the picture of health in it. Like and <laughs> this guy, Step but his toe. fitness and everything's crazy. Step so, isn't he? <laughs> it's, it's mad, bro. Like, bro, honestly, like I just don't understand how he's doing it because the guy uh, openly will say that he'll just he'll smash a chocolate bar and yeah. a couple red bulls on the coach yeah. yeah, before yeah. the game, and then he'll come come in and he's like he's indecent, Nick. He runs his socks off. He's got good pace. His injury record's good. Like, bro, it just don't make sense. Like, it's he, is, he, he is carrying an injury though. He has been carrying an injury for the last probably six to nine months now. He's got something wrong with his hip. Okay. Um, so we don't know how that's going to affect him over the long term now. But I'm hoping he uh, he shakes that off because we don't. I don't know how Leicester play without a Jamie Vardy up top. Yeah. You know, I think that's our season done. Without Jamie Vardy, I think our season's done because for the last few years now, regardless of what Brendan Rodgers is trying to bring in about, you know, possession-based football and playing fast along the floor, it still revolves around the attacking fluidness of Jamie Vardy. Yeah, facts. No, I'm saying, how long do you think that Vardy's got left in, in the tank? <laughs> i got to say two years again. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, isn't it? It depends, bruv. It depends on if Fuck what putting in his Red Bull, bruv. I'm telling you. <laughs> Are you sure that's Red Bull? <laughs> but that's, bruv, he doesn't look like he's slowing down. Do you know no, what I mean? Don't. Like, he, he doesn't look like I he's think, slowing I think, down. I think, I think the stat last season, when he started last season, was it, it was his fastest uh, ever he's ever recorded on his stats and uh, best, uh, was it your bleep test and stuff like that? Yeah. Is this the best ever results? Last year. He's definitely doing something behind the scenes, isn't it? Like I think, <laughs> I think he he goes on like he's really like nonchalant, really relaxed with his training regime and that. But he can't be either. He's a genetic freak, yeah, or, genetic this, freak. or this guy actually looks after himself better than he tells us. Oh, it was the last person that was called genetic freak. It was Big Papa Pomp, Scott Steiner, wasn't it? Oh, bro, yeah, but he was juiced out <laughs> off his nut, though, isn't it? Like, let's be honest, bro. Yeah, slightly Scott different, Steiner. wasn't it? <laughs> So it's so nah, it's, it's a bit of a mad one. I don't really know, but I think he's just he has got good genetics, bro. He's he's quite lean. He's got them yeah. fast twitch muscle fibers. He's rapid. Do you know what I mean? And that's not stuff you you generally associate with lads that look like Vardy. Let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? Like flipping pace and power, bro. Like you get what you get one really quick white footballer in the Premier League like every ten years, in it. Mate, I wish I had his speed. I tell you, I might love his fucking face. But Bro, that's I, true. I, I, Remember, <laughs> like, you, you would have watched Craig Bellamy. You know that much. Remember, Craig Bellamy was absolutely yeah. wrecking, like, gone, bro. Like, do you know what I mean? And now you've got, like, Dan James, yeah? You know what I mean? Who's rapid as well. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just yeah, doesn't yeah. come around that often when you see these oh. men are wetting. Craig Bellamy yeah. was gone. Like, gone. Yeah, black man in disguise, almost. But that's why, <laughs> bro, that's, bro, listen... Literally, if he was a little guy, if he was a little Congolese guy with dreadlocks, you know, the way he, nobody would, nobody would think twice, in it. No uh, one would think twice. But yo, Vardy's gone. Do you know what I mean? He's absolutely gone, and this geezer don't 
he don't look after himself. Well, he says he doesn't. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't. I don't buy it. I reckon he's definitely. He definitely got a gym in the house. He's definitely got someone looking after him. He's 34 years old now, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's same age as me, mate. 34. He doesn't. He doesn't look 34, bro. Like he, he's he, the way he moves. He still moves like he's 28, 29. Like he's running like he's got another couple years in the tank at least, bro. Yeah, yeah. Plenty, plenty in the tank, sir. <laughs> That's what I mean, Premier League legend, I think. Guys, what's your match predictions? Um, in the comments, let us go before. Um, let us know before we wrap up. Uh, match predictions. What are you saying for the score line? Um. I can't, I can't bet against my guys at all right now, just because of the form that we're in. Yeah, I say that, and then we could lose today, but I don't think we will. Do you know what I mean? But um, well, I don't know. Away from home, away from home, we're good. Now I mean, Leicester will. Leicester ain't parking the bus. I think Leicester will give. Will, will try and win the game because I, I. That's just how you look play football, isn't it? So, yeah, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough at home. I, I think our performance is shocking. Um, I said to Expressions uh, when we we're playing Spurs on pre-show, I thought it was gonna batter us. Uh, I said two 0 to Spurs, and uh, how wrong was I? So maybe I should go wrong again, and then the result goes the right way. I don't know. Um, I think United are gonna. I think they're gonna come down here and probably take up take some points. To be fair, yeah. But, but I don't want to say that, so I'm. I'm gonna go with a close game of two two. I'm just leave it yeah, as that. I but I think both teams definitely score. Do you know what I mean? And it's gonna be a close game. But I'm gonna go for United to edge it two one. Do you know what I mean? You have got loads of United fans in here saying two one two two three one. Someone said four one Leicester. Hey, you must be an are Arsenal you, fan. Are you, are you are you doing the uh, the watch along on your show here? Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, I do watch them for the game. I'm I'm gonna be doing the same thing. So yeah, I so jump know. in at half time, innit? Yeah, so that'd be quite cool. Because yeah. I did that with expression, I did that with expression, so it was quite funny. He kicked, he kicked yeah. me out. Yeah, the R. So yeah, that's it. I'll half time jumping in it on the watch along for sure. Yeah, be good. Right. Two, 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 one, one. A lot of draws here as well. I mean, three, two. It's all close, man. One, two, three, one, two, one. It's all close. Do you know I mean, I think it's not going to be. There's not going to be two, one Leicester, four, mm. two Leicester. I think one thing's for sure is I think that um. Both teams score in it. Both teams score in that game, um, and I think <laughs> I think it's going to be a goal either side. I'm not going to let for every every comment in the uh, in the chat that says I look like Vardy, I uh, will put a pound in for the charity tin. We've got one. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Never thought Vardy was so humble, man." Listen, Maguire own goal coming there, so you can put out a post in a Leicester shirt and wish them good luck after the game. He can piss right off. Nah, Do you know man. what I'm saying? So nah. yeah, bro, it's all a bit of a madman. Agent Maguire, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> this is it, man. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens, guys. Do you know what I mean? Big up everyone inside, man. Big up Lee for coming through as well, man. I'm looking forward to it, bro. I'm looking forward yeah, to the so game, man. Do you know what I mean? Second and third in the league. You know what I mean, it's not for everyone. You know what I mean, certain nah. men are looking out for the Fulham results. What's the best what? result for uh, for the Scousers? What's the best result for them? The best result for them is a draw, probably. Hmm. Because you're one point ahead of us. Um, we've got the game in hand, but we don't know when that's going to be played. And it's against Burnley away anyway, so they could stink the place out. So the best possible result for <laughs> Liverpool is a draw. Bloody Burnley. That's it. So the best um, result for Liverpool is definitely a draw. Yeah, so, who are they um, Who are they got, Boxing Day? Who are they got? I don't know. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. One, one thing I didn't look at was the Boxing Day fixtures because obviously we're early kickoff. I didn't even think. Yeah, we're twelve thirty, isn't it? Um, Liverpool yeah, yeah. they they play West Brom on the twenty seventh. Nah, they don't play on Boxing Day. Oh, they've got a bit of a gap. Why they got an extra day off? So you've got you've got a game tonight yet to play against Everton, which could be a, a, a yeah. Good... We've got one tonight and one on Saturday. Liverpool don't have a game tonight, do they? And that's, so that's what I'm saying. We've got a chance of uh, of catching out with a bit of fatigue there. Yeah, I we... didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even bloody take that into we... consideration. Yeah, we've not got a game, so we've got a nice little break. Oh, that's annoying, man. Hmm. Oh, fair enough, man. But yeah, man, a draw would be good for the Scousers. Um, so hopefully we don't do them a favour. Yeah. Well, one of us, one, one of us needs to win to keep up. Exactly, we need to keep the pressure on them. Do you know what I mean? They're getting their players back now, so. So let's not have a draw, right? Let's not let's not do draws. One of us has got to fucking win. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've got Allardyce as well, West Brom. So you never know, <laughs> Allardyce boy, you could do ah. you could do them, bro. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Relegation so battle. 
So that would be proper decent, man. But um, big up for coming through, Lee. You lot, make sure you subscribe to Lee Chappie's channel as well. The link is in the title. Um, I'm um, so close to 4K. So close to 4K, mate. So Yeah, close. so let's get him up to 4K at least, man. So, um, smash the like button. You guys that are watching here, make sure you follow. And yeah, he'll jump on at halftime as well during the game as well. Um, hopefully we're winning. You know what I mean? And then it's good vibes, you know, like that. But nah, man. You got anything you want to plug while you're here, bro? You doing any other streams? Um, yeah, I'm before? just doing the watch. I'm just doing the watch along um, on the same time as you. So I'm sure it'd be quite good for you for your guys in the chat to jump into mine and give me fucking hell if you score. First. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Um, you know, I always love the support, regardless of if it's bad or good. I don't really care. It's just there. Uh, it's all. It's that's what it's about, and it? it's getting the views and stuff. Exactly. Uh, um, go, go, give me a follow as well. My main my main socials is Twitter uh, at Lee underscore Chappy. That's my main socials, but I am on Instagram as well. And uh, good luck to the game. I don't mean it. I hope you lose. Yeah, yeah <laughs> man, I hope you lose as well, man. But nice one for coming through, bro. And we'll definitely uh, catch up on. at half time. Yeah, look forward to it. I'll speak to you soon.